I just had another video removed by YouTube, supposedly violating their community guidelines. I'll show you the interesting thing about this here. Um, <clears throat> I have to black out some of this stuff, but basically it says about that they removed uh, your video marching design exposed part 5 was flagged to us for review. Upon review, we've determined that it violates our guidelines and we've remo removed it from YouTube. Um, <clears throat> here's the videos. Marching design exposed. There's number 5. Has been removed. And um, that was the video where I showed the proof that Paul Wittenberger says that Jesus, Paul Wittenberger is Steven Anderson's filmmaker. Um, but I, it's the one where I showed the proof where Paul Wittenberger says that Jesus burned in hell forever and Stephen Anderson's a him. Paul Wittenberger is a perverted artist, draw, uh, paints really grotesque paintings and things. And uh, I also showed his IMDb page where he's actually involved in um, wicked Hollywood films at the same time as he is making films for Stephen Anderson. So he works in Hollywood and for Stephen Anderson. And so that was flagged for removal. And in the video, I said that I think that he's a sodomite, and I still believe that way. Uh, he's just the, the, the effeminate body language of a, of a sodomite. Anderson acts that way. Wittenberger acts that way. A lot of the guys in his movement are very um, sissy the way that they act and whatever else. But, you know, so, yeah, they took my video down. Nice. But just to show it again here, this is Paul Wittenberger's uh, IMDb page. Different things here. Uh, there, he's got the truth about Hinduism, uh, marching to Zion, there, Hell's Kitchen. You know, look at this stuff: New World Order Bible versions, Book of Revelation, Night of the Templar, After the Tribulation, Bad Blood, Hardcore Hearts. You know, all this down stuff down through here. Um, actually, there's something I brought to my attention. I didn't even know this, but there's some yeah dog tags right there. That's another film that had sodomite scenes in it and everything. Um, there's a, a lesbian film right there. Anybody, whatever, you can read that for yourself. But this guy here is working in Hollywood and for Steven Anderson. Now, um, that should send up some red flags there uh, if you know anything at all, if you're born again. If you're just new to this whole issue of Steven Anderson, the guy's a total fraud. Um, and I find it interesting that I have a video taken down. I didn't even use nasty words about, you know, sodomites or whatever else. I just said I believe he's a sodomite. I called him Sodomburger, you know, because that was just so offensive or whatever else. But I find it interesting that they remove one of my videos, and yet Steven Anderson is still on YouTube. 6,677 videos been banned from 34 countries because of his attacks on the LGBTQ whatever organizations and groups out there. Banned from 34 countries because of his YouTube videos and he's still on YouTube. He's still on YouTube. Uh, that's a problem. I'll put that here at the end here. I'll get back to that in a minute. But there, here's an interesting thing um, that this guy brought out here. This guy used to work for uh, Kent Hovind, actually, uh, Theodore, I think his name is. But he brought out a really good video. If you want to watch it, I'll put the link in the description box. But uh, Paul Wittenberger supports Hinduism. They made a video against Hinduism, but yet he sells products on his website. You know, um, Aromir things. And it's a, it's a commune in, in India, I think it is, or something like that. A Hindu commune. And their sodomy and whatever else there. And but they're exposing Hinduism, but they're selling the products of Hinduism. So um, I don't know how far this thing is going to go. I did appeal this this whole thing of this community viola violation strike deal, whatever. I did I did uh, you know um, counter the thing or whatever else. I did uh, appeal it. <laughs> Appeals the word. Um, but if they, you know, because I'm not, I'm not real hard on sodomites or whatever else, you know, I, I don't, I don't rip on and say they need to be killed and whatever, you know, like the new IFB does. Um, I'm against sodomy. It's, it's obviously condemned in scripture. Um, but I'm not going to be coming out and screaming and yelling and whatever going wild about it. They're sinners. They need to be saved. They need to repent of that sin. You can't be saved and continue in that sin. Sorry, it is a very wicked sin. But, uh, 
I'm not going to come out and, and call for their death and whatever, like the new IFB people clearly do. And they just get away with it. YouTube just looks the other way. I have a video where I don't even, I'm not even using real inflammatory language or whatever. And as far as the sodomite thing is concerned, I just said sodomite and he's Sodomberger. And my video is removed for that. But they'll leave up Steven Anderson's channel. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. But if my channel, I just want to put this out, if my channel does ever disappear for some reason, YouTube decides that it's going to get the axe because I've, I've upset enough people or whatever else, then this is my secondary channel, KJ Video Ministries. Um, you can go there. You know, if, if something goes wrong with the main channel down here, the KJVM, Brian Denlinger, then you come over to this channel if it's still up. <laughs> If it's not up, then I'll probably, you know, have my ministry, my website, uh, KingJamesVideoMinistries.com. Um, go there real quick. There's the uh, my actual website, and I'll put up some kind of a notification there or whatever else. But I was just thinking about this, and I thought, you know, I haven't really ever talked about that much. What happens if the main channel goes down? You know, I'll, I'll do something else at that point in time. Um, there's some other things in the works right now, which I'll I'll get into later, but uh, in in the future I'm saying, but um, just the hypocrisy of YouTube, you know, remove my video because I said a guy is a sodomite, I believe he's a sodomite, but then they leave Steven Anderson up and you know whatever. So, um, what a bunch of hypocrites.